Hi there. If you're watching this video, you're probably trying to get Firefox and Safe Harbor Games to work together. Safe Harbor Games at safeharborgames.net will work with Mozilla's Firefox, but it is a little bit more complex than most other browsers. So um, how do you go about creating an account, logging in, downloading software, and that type of thing? Well, the first thing is that um, you go to safeharborgames.net and you do login. Now, if you don't have an account already, you need to click the little um, box here that says, or little item that says need to register. Click here. Then you go into this registration. Um, you say that you're 13 years or older, and then you continue. And then you fill in your login name, your password, put your password twice in, your email address, and then you do um, the uh, code here at the bottom, the CAPTCHA, and you have to pick a security question um, down here and then put an, a particular answer in. That's just in case you want to um, uh, get access to your account if you forget your password. Now, once you fill in all of this information and you click yes, I, um, well, you don't have to click yes, but if you want uh, Safe Harbor Games news to be sent to you, you can click yes. Uh, once you fill it in all in, you click the register button. Once you um, click register, an email will be sent to you. Uh, it could take a few minutes um, and you should check your spam folder if you don't get it. Uh, when you get the email, you must um, click on the link inside the email to activate your account. So once you have an activated account, uh, the next thing you have to do is you need to um, download the software. So you click the download button here. Now, there are a, a few different versions of uh, Safe Harbor games that you can install. Uh, most people will probably be Windows 7 and 8 users, so you'll want to go to this section here for Windows 7 and 8 and click on the link here to download. And if you're using Vista, there's another link here or very old versions of Windows um, down here. Uh, at the bottom. But we're a Windows uh, 7 and 8 user, uh, so we'll, we'll click on this and then we'll save the file. Okay, and we'll just click on the file that we just downloaded, and then we click Run. Now you click Next, and uh, you'll see here where Firefox, or sorry, where Safe Harbor Games will be installed. C program file is x86. If you're on a 32-bit system, you won't see the x86. You should remember the drive letter here. Um, you don't want to modify this, but just remember that is C colon on most systems. Some people may have it on D, but we'll probably want to remember this for um, the next part of the video. So anyway, we'll just click Next, and then we'll install. Now this will take a little while on this computer, so bear with me. Maybe we should put the Jeopardy music in here. It'll be probably faster on your machine. I'm just using a slower system here. Okay, so now it's installed. So you click the Finish button. Okay, so now um, on this web page that you're still on, you just click on Home in the upper right. Okay, so next. Uh, we want to log in. So, and then put your password in. And then I'll just remember my password. Now you'll know you're, know you're logged in because the login button will turn into log out, as you can see up here. So, the next thing is you want to go into a game room. Uh, you, Safe Harbor Games has a, di a number of different rooms, but we're going to go into backgammon. And uh, now we've got the backgammon rooms listed here. And I'm going to pick uh, a place where most of the competitive users uh, play. And that's in the doubling cube room. 
Uh, the Cove is the rated room. But we'll go into the Dublin Cube room where there are more sane people and some good players. Now, um, the in, if you are if you get this box to appear, you probably don't have Safe Harbor Games uh, listed up here. If you don't, um, which most don't, um, you'll want to just hit the Choose button um, for this Choose application. And this is the trick. Um, in most other browsers, you don't have to do this, but in uh, Mozilla Firefox, this is a necessity. The first thing you want to do is click down here and remember my choice for Safe, safe Harbor Games. Uh, and then what you want to do is click the Choose button that's here. Now, um, the Choose button will take you to um, probably some random place. Uh, and uh, what you want to do is you want to point Mozilla Firefox to the Safe Harbor Games uh, directory and the program associated with it. So what you want to do is on the left hand side here of this box, uh, under computer, um, you'll see the drive letters. Now I asked you to remember the drive letter from uh, when you installed Safe Harbor Games. Uh, it'll likely on mo your installation be drive C, but if it was different you'd have to choose the drive letter um, that was appropriate. So double click on, in my case, drive C and you'll see a folders here and you'll in these folders you're going to see a program files and a program files x86 on some versions of windows you may only see program files if that's all you see and there's no program files x86 then you want to choose program files but on most um, windows systems that are 64-bit you'll want to go into the program files x86 directory. You'll know you're in the right place because you will find in uh, this list, oh, um, I double clicked on program files x86 here to get to the subdirectory. So double click and then you get this directory. Um, and if you scroll, you'll find in this list uh, Safe Harbor Games. Now, uh, if you see Safe Harbor Games not net, um, do not use it. That's an older version that I had laying around. Um, Safe Harbor Games is being stored in a different place. You want to use the Safe Harbor Games without the dot net. So you go into Safe Harbor Games and you'll see a list of icons here. The important one here is Harbor Games. You want to double click on this. So uh, we come back here, it now has harborgames.exe, um, and um, we've now uh, told Mozilla to point itself at Harbor Games for this website. So if you got the little boat here, that's good. And then you want to click OK. And in, oh, there we go. So we have uh, a room with tables in it, and uh, if you wish to uh, kibitz or watch a table, you just click on the player you'd like to, to watch. So I'll click on S. Turner. That's Stacy Turner. Uh, yes, he's the same fellow that uh, plays on the American Backgammon Tournament, and he's playing Wolfman. Um, and you can see that they're um, uh, playing a 13-point match here. And, uh, yeah... Okay, well, we've just watched. If you're interested in starting a game, uh, a new game, uh, sit at a table. Uh, just click on an empty chair and then ask somebody to come to your table. And then um, what you want to do is when somebody sits that you would like to play, uh, then you um, uh, click on the go button. And if you're in the top chair, when the game starts, you will ask, be asked how many points you want to play the match to. And then you click the OK button, and then you're off to the races. Um, and I hope that has uh, uh, been of some help. Now, there is one uh, thing that may have actually occurred that I should draw your attention to. If prior to this video, you attempted to use that choose box to associate, associate Safe Harbor Games with uh, Mozilla. 
Firefox, uh, it's possible that you um, chose an incorrect program and uh, when you go to into a lobby like the Dublin Cube, uh, it doesn't open up properly. If that is the case, uh, then you'll want to continue listening to this video. But if everything is working for you at this point, you can turn the video off um, and uh, good luck with your games. So for those of you who still might have a problem, you'll want to go into the upper right. There are these three horizontal bars and just click on that. This is the open menu. And you'll want to click on this gear icon that has options listed on it. You go to options. And in here, you'll see a list of um, what they call protocols or applications. Now you'll see, should see Safe Harbor Games here. Now, um, what you can do is click on this uh, little um, down arrow button and you'll get this little box here. And um, what you'll want to do is go to Use Other. Ignore the other things that might be here, but you want to go to use other and then you click on the browse button. And then um, you do what we did uh, in the earlier video. You go to whatever drive letter and then you go into the program files, x86 directory. And then you go into the safe harbor games directory, not safe harbor games.net. So it's safe harbor games, double click it. And then you double click on Harbor Games. And then you'll click OK. And then you go back into try to go into a lobby and hopefully it will load up. There we go. And if you continue to have uh, problems, uh, you can contact me at M patch M P E T C H at G N U bg.org. I'll just type it in my um, URL bar here. I'll also put my email address um, on the YouTube video. You can email me and just let me know uh, what other problems you might be experiencing. Uh, if it's not a Firefox issue, I can answer a plethora of other um, uh, questions and hopefully be able to help you. So uh, I thank you uh, for listening to this video and I hope it was instructive.